Good morning, children. Welcome to social class. So, in social, we are learning the seventeenth block, which is Earth and its neighbors, isn't it, children? So, in this, we have learned about the Earth. That is the shape of the Earth. We have learned about the Sun, about the Moon. Now, we are going to learn about stars. These all only we will see from the Earth, isn't it, children? In the morning, you will see Sun. In the night, you will see Moon and stars. So, Moon we have already learned. Now, we are going to learn about stars okay which is our fourth topic okay the star the stars okay so please open your social content book children and turn to page number 109 109 so in this you can see the stars isn't it children so these stars are also huge balls of gases Okay, can you see in the picture in your content book also you can see and here also in the video also you can see. So star is also a huge ball of gases and they have their own heat and light as the sun. So when we were learning about sun, we have learned that sun is a huge ball of hot gases which has its own heat and light. So in the same way, stars are also huge ball of gases and they have their own light and heat but why do we see in the night why not in the day is that sun is nearer to us when compared to the stars okay so sun and stars are similar they are stars okay they are huge balls of gases but when compared to the other stars sun is nearer to us so that's why we use the sunlight during the day okay and also its heat but stars are very very far that's why these stars we can see in the night where sun is not there when sun is away from us okay so with the sun bright we cannot see these stars in the day okay they are very far they also have their huge light and heat but they, as they are very from, far from the earth, we can only see them in the night where the sunlight will not be there. Okay, they are very, very, they are far when compared to sun. And they are not as small as you see in the night. They are also like sun like this. They are also the, like heat balls, huge hot balls. But because they are very far, we cannot, uh, we cannot experience the heat and the light from those stars. Okay, and some stars are bigger than the sun. They are very big than the sun also. But then they are very far from the earth. We see them as stars, tiny stars. Okay, and. So, sun is the nearest star we can say. That's why we have learned that moon is a satellite and sun is a star. You remember, yes, in the previous class, we have learned the difference between the moon and sun while we were writing. Moon is a satellite we have written and sun is a star. Because sun and the stars have their own heat and light. Sun is also a star, but as it is nearer to us, we have named it differently as sun. Okay. And we cannot see the stars in the day because they are far away from us and sun is nearer to us. The brightness of the sun, this sun, it will be shading away the brightness of those huge stars which are far away from us. Be so that's why we only see the stars in the night. Okay. So this is about the stars. Children. Okay. So... I have given few keywords in your daily schedule, children. Please learn them and write it in your classwork. And also read the content book, page number 109, the stars. And underline the keywords which I have given in the daily schedule. Okay. Coming to your question answers. Among the sun, moons and stars, which is closest to the earth, why do stars look smaller than the moon? So, which is nearer if you have to say moon is nearer to us because moon is revolving around us, around the 
earth isn't it so moon is the closest one and why do stars look so smaller because they are very far away from us okay they are very far away from us moon is the nearest one then the sun then these stars are very very far from us that's why they seem to be very smaller in the night okay but actually they are very huge okay children so write this answer in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your next question why the sun is called as the star because as the stars sun is also a huge ball of gas and it has its own light and heat okay so that's why sun is called as a star okay children so write these two answers in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 8 s4 twinkling stars okay so with this we have completed with our block children so in the next class i'll meet you with the new block see you in the next class bye